Greetings and salutations. Welcome back to another Power BI and DAX tutorial video. It's me, James, or BA Sensei. And what we're going to do here is we're going to continue looking at the perimeter pattern. And this is video number two. But in this case, we're going to look at multiple perimeters independent from each other, which can be used for, I'm going to give you a specific use case. Where you can say, I want to see I want to see what the scenarios would be if I applied a 20% discount on any orders with six or more items and you can see then based on that scenario what the impact would be on sales but I'm like I want to apply a 10% discount on orders of seven or more items and you can see that impact so it's pretty cool so what if analysis it's scenario planning based on historical results pretty cool so now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to apply this pattern so let's head on over to the model first thing we're going to do is we're going to create your perimeter tables calculated tables first thing we're going to do is we're going to let's do the discount so let's quickly go through this statement over here so what we're going to do is we're going to use the select column statement to generate a series Generate series just generates a series of numbers starting from 0 to 40, 0 0.045 in increments of 5%. And we're going to call this um, discount and we're going to bring that value back. So what we end up here is with a beautiful little table like this. We use the generate series statement for that. So now let's do the same for the quantities, the order quantities. I'm going to say new table. We're also going to use generate series. You generate series for quite handy. We're going to say minimum quantity equals select column. So we're just going to have multiple columns here. And the columns will basically have a generate series again. We're going to start at 1 and we're going to end at 10. And we're going to go from 1 to 10 in increments of 1. And the columns will basically be called min quantity. And this value will be returned in a select column statement. And that will look like this, a one column table. So we have basically have that for discount and then that for that. So let's go back to this report over here. I wanted to create this new slicer. Say slicer and I'm going to say min quantity. Bring the min quantity in there. I don't want it to be look like that. I want it to be a drop down list. Let's say a vertical list. Shoot, there's the min quantity of orders. And now I'm just going to copy that and paste it. And in here, we're basically going to say, I don't want that, but I want to bring in the discount percentages in there. So now you have your two parameters set up. I'm just going to make this discount uh, percentage. Okay, great. So now we're going to create the measure, the discount simulation measure. We say new measure. Yes. I'm going to quickly take you through. I'm just going to paste the code in here and we can quickly jog through it. Okay, first thing what we do is we set up a variable for minimum quantity. So we use the select value statement, which basically will just return one value if one value is selected from the minimum quantity parameter table we uh, chose. But if, if there are multiple values, if we select one, two, three, four, five, then it will by default just return the value of the one. Then we do the same for discount. We have a variable and that is selected value from the perimeter table. But if more than one perimeter is selected, we might default it to zero. Then we do the next thing over here. We create a little table that we iterate through. So we say, I'm actually just going to show you how this, what this looks like in DAX Studio. So head on over to DAX Studio. So add columns creates a, a three column table basically so add columns but we start with summarizing we summarize the sales table based on the customer PO numbers you can see in the results here we have the purchase order numbers and then we do uh, aggregation on the quantity and the amount so then we end up if I run this we end up with the results here a table with all the purchase order the total quantity for each purchase order and the amount okay so that's what we put in there so this is what we did in this variable. And now the next thing is on the result, we just say sum x of this ordered table, basically this table. And we're going to say if 
the quantity, this quantity here, is bigger or equal than the selected perimeter quantity, then say, say 1 minus the select, selected discount, remember if nothing is selected it will be 0, times your order amount. And if it actually is not bigger or equal to, then just return the amount. So that's exactly how this works. It's pretty cool. And you can see these two are independent of each other. Now I'm just going to drag this into the report over there. And there we have the scenario. Let's say I now want to check if I want to check any order with more five or more order items and I want to apply a 25% discount, I can see the impact would be on the sales quite significant. We'll have 16 million words of revenue. But if I want to increase that to 45, but I want to make it nine or more, I can see that impacts a bit less. Pretty cool. Pretty cool use case for the perimeter, independent perimeter pattern. Excellent. See you in the next